Hi there, I'm Realty Rodas Aurelia, but you can call me Riri. And to know more about me, please continue watching. I'm currently a third year student of Bachelor of Science in Tourism Management with Specialization in International Tourism here in the University of Bath. I have enjoyed staying in the university, met new people, and to know and understand the culture of Baguio City. Not until the pandemic started. Coronavirus entered our lives and we told our college life for months and created a huge change. Honestly, I had a lot of anxieties and breakdowns during the course of the pandemic, coping up to change. Face-to-face -face classes turned into virtual classes that made the access to education even harder. But day by day, I get used to it. Even my faith is tested. I know all of us questioned our almighty, most especially those people who lost their loved ones. And it's really hard to accept it. But as we go through, we realize that we need to keep going. That's why I continue to thrive, live my life, and chase my dreams. Because this pandemic made me even stronger, determined, and have that eager to not just finish my journey, but to win in life. This semester is one of the most important months as we step closer to funding our diplomas. But before that, starting this semester is learning these two subjects, which are cruise tourism and strategic and total quality management under Sir Alvin T. Morales. What do I know about cruise tourism? According to my readings and understanding, the term cruise tourism refers to a lavish style of travel that entails a 48-hour all-inclusive vacation on a cruise ship with a predetermined and specific itinerary that includes stops at various ports or cities. It is a tourism product that integrates and offers a variety of attractions, activities, transportation, lodging, and other services. The cruise business has significant impact on local, regional, and national economies. Cruise lines also contribute to the global economy by creating 940,000 jobs and paying out roughly $40,000 billion in compensation. Interesting, right? What about strategic and total quality management? It concentrates to the organization's objectives on a system of quality and customer satisfaction. The goal of strategic planning is to assist the business prioritize its effort in implementing a total quality management approach. Formulating, implementing, and assessing cross-functional decisions that help company achieve its goals is both an art and both science through this. It is a crucial for a company's long-term success. And I expect that as we go through the discussion, I will be able to know what the company will then develop clear, well-defined plans, and it will implement in order to achieve its objectives and connect its business activities with those objectives. But that's all. I hope that you were able to know me and learn something. Till next time, keep safe, drink your water, and stay at home. Bye-bye!